Hey guys, um, today I'm going to talk about a subject that's very controversial nowadays. Now, I don't want to offend anyone, but if I do, uh, can I say, I'm just going to speak the truth in love. And hopefully God will help you see the truth, His truth, not mine. Now, I want to start off with the most important thing. Jesus tells us to love everyone, to love our neighbor, to love our enemies even. So hate against homosexuals is not okay. Okay, to mistreat them, to, to do anything bad to them is not okay. We're to love everyone, whether they're homosexual or not. This is what Jesus has commanded us. Everyone should be treated with love. When Jesus came, he sat with, with tax collectors and sinners, and, and everyone used to criticize him for that. But, but you know what? He came to seek and save the lost. So I am completely against any mistreatment of any homosexual people. That being said, let's just see, let's just have a look a little bit at a few verses, a few Bible verses, and then I'll just discuss a little. Because what we want is God's truth, not my truth or anyone else's truth. Now in, in Matthew 19, verse 5, I think it is. Yep. It's uh, Jesus is speaking, he says, he's actually speaking about divorce. Okay, but what he says at this verse is, <clears throat> Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer one, no longer two flesh, two, but one flesh. Now, God designed things a certain way. He made them male and female. He made Adam and Eve so that they could come together become one flesh and multiply. He did the same with the animals. This is the order, the way that God made things. Okay, now, after the fall, when man, after the, when I say the fall, I mean after Adam and Eve sinned, after they disobeyed God, they changed. They became a distorted image of what he made them to be. They no longer lived for God, they were cut off from God. They lived from themselves, they were selfish. They were, uh, people became hateful towards others. They started disobeying, they, they disobeyed God's laws and they enjoyed it. It was actually, it took an effort for them to try to obey God. Yeah, God gave commands to people because living that way was no longer natural to them. If it was natural to them to do all these commands that God had given and they could do it naturally, perfectly, then God wouldn't have had to give them commands. But God gave commands, or, you know, okay, some of them we don't want to do anyway, but some we do. Some we covet. We, we lust. We, uh, many people steal and they enjoy stealing. Other people hurt in other ways. Some people murder. Okay, we all have, we are all, when we're born, we are all a distorted image and have things in us that are wrong by nature. Okay, this is um, how we are. Now, some people, I don't know if homosexuality is a natural thing or if it's a choice, I'm not going to go into that. Okay, but I do know that one of, one of the things that men do, one of the sins that is mentioned in the Bible, is when we go against this order that God created of male and female, man and wife becoming one flesh, and we uh, change it to say man and man can get married and become one flesh, which is not what God, how God set things. So we're moving away from what God desires, from what God has commanded. We're moving away from that and doing things our way, a sinful way. Now it makes it clear in, in the Bible that indeed it is a sin. I'll read a couple of verses. This is from Romans 1. If you read the whole of Romans 1, yeah, it's, uh, where God's wrath on unrighteousness, it, it talks about, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Yeah, 
For their women exchange natural relations for those that are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural relations with women and were consumed with passions for one another, men committing shameful acts with men and receiving in themselves the due penalty for their error. So he's talking about here how man and women, but when I say man I mean humanity, uh, went away from what God has, uh, from the order and the way that God designed and started doing things differently, started doing things another way, and <coughs> committing shameful acts of sex. And then in 1 Corinthians uh, 6, it makes it even more clearer. This is verse 9, it says, Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revelers, revilers, oh well, nor, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And then it says, and such were some of you. So some of you used to live this way, but you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. So, clearly the Bible tells us that homosexuality is a sin. You're, going, you're living a sinful way. It's up there with uh, murderers, idolaters, and and uh, <clears throat> everything else that I mentioned. But, but, there's a way. There's a way, and that way is Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we can repent from any sin, okay? I, I, I dealt, I had a big issue with lust in the past, okay? And the Lord helped me get through that, and He helped me live differently. Okay, I used to, you know, I was involved with pornography and, and all sorts of things when I was younger. Okay, the Lord helped me through that. My sin is not, you know, does not make me better or worse than someone else's sin. Okay, we all have sinned against God. We have all fallen short of His glory. We have all, um, none of us deserve to go to heaven because we've all sinned. We've all broken God's law. We've all lived and done shameful things. Okay, but there's forgiveness in Jesus Christ. We can repent, when repenting doesn't just mean say sorry and keep doing what you're doing. Repenting means, I, and I have a video of repenting, you can watch that, that's a lot more informative, but just, just uh, in short, it means I understand what I was doing is wrong and I'm turning away from that and I'm turning to you God in your ways and I wanna live your way <clears throat> and you ask God to help you live that way. And He will. He puts His Spirit in you and He changes you on the inside so that your desires change. You know, if you, you again, though, you know, for this to work, you have to have your mind and your heart set on God, not on the flesh, not on your body, not on your selfish desires, but on Him. And there's forgiveness and there's new life in Jesus, new life filled with love and joy and living in a way that God has designed. And when you live in that way that God has designed in relationship with God, it is so much more fulfilling, so much more satisfying. I know I probably offended a lot of people with what I've said today, <clears throat> but God tells us that homosexuality is a sin. But He also tells us there's a way to be cleansed of all our unrighteousness and to live differently, to live new and to live His way. God bless you.